let's do this. And how's everything in the dog kidnapping business? You got a new dog? Where were you walking him, Cherise? I always loved Bonnie like he was my own child. One, I do not want that image in my head. Two, could you go get my dog back? This is Seven Psychopaths, and it stars the likes of Colin Farrell, Woody Harrelson, the great Christopher Walken, and Sam Rockwell. The plot is basically about Colin Farrell's character, who is an Irish screenwriter trying to break out, and he's writing a movie called Seven Psychopaths. And ironically, it's really closely based to what the actual movie is that we watch on the screen. And he's having a lot of trouble with it, but he has Sam Rockwell and Christopher Walken to help him. Meanwhile, they don't have real occupations, but what they do is steal dogs, keep them for a couple days, and then resend them to their owners. And that's how they make their money. And one day they steal from the wrong person, a.k.a. Woody Harrelson, who has a really, really adorable Shih Tzu named Bonnie. And he wants Bonnie back, or he's going to kill some mofos. Going into this movie, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't even know about the screenwriting aspect of Colin Farrell's character, and that really surprised me. So, at the end of this movie, I didn't love it, but I really, really dug it, and I thought there were a lot of cool ideas here that were very unique. First of all, I thought the acting all around was superb for what this movie was. A lot of great comedic timing. Christopher Walken has, he still has it. Colin Farrell actually pulled off a nice, decent acting job in this film, and my favorite character in this movie was not Woody Harrelson's character, but Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell always puts on a great performance when he makes movies, and he wore this hat in the movie just for proof. Yeah. I was one of ten people to win this hat, so I feel pretty privileged right now. I found the directing to be very interesting, and the cinematography for this movie, there were a lot of shots that were really cool, and I didn't expect to see in this movie, because this is... This is a comedy drama, but I didn't expect what I saw on this movie, and there were a lot of cool visuals. I really thought the plot was very intriguing, and it kept me engaged in the movie. And just the whole thought of him trying to think of ideas for what to put in the script was just fascinating, in my opinion. I won't explain it, obviously, but there's one scene, for instance, where Colin Farrell is describing a scene that he wants to put in his script, his screenplay. And the way it's stylized and the way it's edited, because by the way, the editing is great in this movie too, but the way it's edited and the way it's filmed visually just, just popped. It was great. One of the best parts about this, besides the chemistry and the acting between all these characters, is the screenplay, the dialogue. So many great quirky jokes that were just worked, and a lot of, like, really charming awkwardness. It's just a lot of aspects to the dialogue that were just very unique and refreshing to watch. And finally, the Shih Tzu. Well, we gotta talk about the dog. First of all, I own a Shih Tzu, and his name is Cory, and he's the cutest dog on Earth. Ow! Ow! Ouch! If I talk like Christopher Walken, will you say something to them? Please. Obviously. But this dog in this movie, Bonnie, there are just certain parts where they show the dog for like two or three seconds, but what the dog is doing in this two or three seconds is just pure gold. Like, there's a part where Sam Rockwell is just blasting people, and the dog is just sitting there like this. <laughs> it's brilliant. Now, my only problems with the movie is that the movie dragged in two or three scenes. I was thoroughly engaged for the most part, but there are two or three scenes where I might have dozed off a bit. Also, the style of the humor and its quirkiness, even though it was really refreshing and I really loved a lot of the jokes, it could get repetitive after a while, and the people who aren't fond of that type of humor won't like this movie. This film has cult classic written all over it. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to do that well at the box office when it comes out October 12th, but I think this could gain a following. And it's one of those movies, it's just like, it's, it's, it's so out there and so weird that when you watch it, like, you know what, you have to watch it. But overall, I thought Seven Psychopaths was a really fun, unique, refreshing twist on the comedy drama genre. There's a lot to love about this movie, but there are certain people who just won't like the movie. It's not for everybody. And given everything I just said, I'm going to give this film 
4 out of 5 stars. This film does not release for another two weeks, but when you see Seven Psychopaths, or if you have seen it somewhere, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. When you see it in two weeks, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below too. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, please check out my Facebook and Twitter accounts on my channel. The links are in there. I am John from Op and Joe's Reviews. I think Shih Tzu's are the best dogs in the world. I'm digging this winter hat. See you next time. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. No, it doesn't. There'll be one guy left with one eye. How's the last blind guy gonna take out the eye of the last guy left?